You'll be hearing about the three different types of global labs uh, available, and we wanted to talk to you about Idea Lab. Uh, Fiona, perhaps you can tell us a bit more about Idea Lab. Yes, so Idea Lab is really a continuation of Idea Week. So if you remember uh, back in March together, we went through Innovation Driven Entrepreneurial Advantage, in which Phil and I gave you our MIT perspective on innovation and entrepreneurship. Uh, with Idea Lab, you have the opportunity to continue with that thinking and continue to develop those ideas. Uh, we have two tracks in Idea Lab an innovation track and an entrepreneurship track. So, Phil, maybe you can explain the two tracks. Yes, so we set up Idea Lab in response to Ember Demand. Two tracks. One, the innovation track is largely about taking our approach to innovation-driven entrepreneurship into large organizations. So some embers have used their time in Idea Lab to work on projects that are related to uh, the corporate headquarters that they work in. Others have applied it to ecosystems that matter to them. On the entrepreneurship side, this is about startup ventures. So some embers choose in their second year to use Idea Lab to continue working on their startup venture ideas which may or may not have come out of Idea Week in their first year. Um, and sometimes they form teams around this, both of Embers and others, to work on those. Fiona, given that we've got these two tracks, could you maybe bring them alive a little bit by giving us some examples? Yeah, so a couple of my favorite examples from the innovation track. One was a great project uh, that one of our Embers a couple of years ago did with uh, her organization, Boehringer Engelheim. And they basically took some of the Idea Week themes and approaches and put into place a hackathon followed by a sort of Dragon's Den kind of process inside the organization. And she used Idea Lab both to design that but actually to then deliver that uh, entire process and activity from start to finish inside the corporation. Uh, she did that herself but with a team of fellow members who came into the company with her to do that work. And then we also had that quite interesting project from Minneapolis that mm. was put forward by one of our Ember alums to really help her think through how to kind of reboot the incubator that they had in the region that was really meant to help uh, develop their life science ecosystem there but hadn't been working very well. So we had a, a wonderful team of Embers work on that project with her to really think about how we could take some of those innovation entrepreneurship ideas uh, in back into the incubator and really give it a sort of a, a, a kick start. Again. On the entrepreneurship mm. side, we've also had a, some really interesting projects, so a few come to mind. Um, Neural Payments is uh, a startup that our Ember students developed in their Idea Week, uh, and the team of three of them took that project forward into Idea Lab uh, and spent the Idea Lab time doing a lot of customer work, engaging with the first customer, and really doing the sort of due diligence. Uh, an analysis that they needed to make a decision as to whether at the end of the program they would actually mm -hmm. take that project forward. And so now a couple of them have left and actually gone full time. We've had a project like Sunflower, Sunflower. Uh, which is um, a startup that's really coming out of one of the MIT labs that the student team developed uh, during Idea Week and have now taken forward. Uh, and then we also had uh, Ben's Build Bar project, mm -hmm. which is more of a not for profit uh, focused on. Uh, developing sort of health bars made from dates that come from Israel and um, Palestine. So that's been a pretty exciting project yeah. as well. Well, that's a great set of examples. And so as you can see, we're pretty flexible about the kinds of projects that you get to work on. Uh, you're now getting to hear about the three different labs. Um, if you think you have an idea, both either for the innovation or the entrepreneurship track, um, then please do share that idea, and then we'll, we'll vet those to see which ones get in. Um, Picking up on the Ember alumni, uh, I wanted to stress that we also use a lot of Ember alumni to be mentors for your teams. Uh, it's amazing the entrepreneurial talent that you have in the Ember alumni, alumni network. Uh, and we use them to come in to help you, not least because they know what it feels like to be a second year Ember trying to get things done. The Idea Lab, all the labs basically last six months. So we try to help you get as much done as possible in that time. And some people on our side actually end up going to work full time on their startup ventures uh, or, or get new jobs as a result of what they've, they've done. Um, secondly, the teams are pretty flexible, um, so we like people to work in teams. We think there are benefits of doing that, uh, but if there are extenuating circumstances for it being a one-off project, we're, we're pretty flexible, so we're happy to, uh, to look at that. Can I give a little bit of guidance yes. in terms of team size? I think with a startup project, it's always preferable to do that with a team. Uh, we know that uh, startups that are founded by teams of people tend to do much better than those that are not. Uh, but if you don't have a team of your fellow members, 
Uh, we're also very supportive of teams where you have some people from the outside uh, working with you on your particular startup activity. And they're most welcome to come and join us in class at various points in time and also obviously benefit from the mentoring. Uh, but we really do encourage you who are working on startups to make sure that you have a team around you. Uh, it's a really good way of making sure that you get enough diverse input into your project. Exactly. So um, that's uh, enough from us. I believe the Ember staff will be sharing with you today the uh, time frame for deciding which of the three labs you would like to be in. Uh, and we hope that some of you will look at Idea Lab and find that it's a good fit for what you would like to do. Fiona, would you like to close up? Yes, yeah, so with that, as Phil said at the beginning, we're really sorry that we can't be there with you today. Uh, we'll be back in Boston soon, and we really look forward to having uh, a lot of you in our Idea Lab class. Please do share with us any questions, and I think if all has gone according to plan, we should have Mike in the classroom with you right now, who can probably answer a whole number of questions that you have. But obviously, we're always on the end of email and can uh, support you as you're making the right lab decision for you. Excellent. Thank you very much. Thank you.